Let's start another new class. New Java class. I'm going to call this pass 2D array to method. How do you pass a two dimensional array to a method? So here's what I want you to remember about passing arrays. When passing a 1D or a 2D array, when passing an array or a multiple dimensional, doesn't have to be 2D, to a method, you're not passing the array. The reference, like where is it saved? The reference of the array is passed to the method. Remember that part. Because people say, well, when I come back, the array has the same value. It looks like they send them back. No, they didn't. Both the method and the main program pointing to the same location. So here I'm not going to read anything, so I don't have to import anything. Well, maybe I'll use a scanner, I, I guess. Um, or, you know what, let's do this. I'm not going to use scanner. I'm not going to read, type anything. So let's take my main program. This main program is going to... Um, what are we going to do here? Get an array of numbers, of random numbers. That's good. Random numbers from a method. So it's not going to send anything to the method, but it's going to get back some random numbers. And let's say these are integer numbers. So int. That's a 2D array. Let's give this array a name. We'll call it R for array, I don't know, equals, I'm going to call load array. And notice I'm not sending anything, so there's nothing inside the parentheses to send to the method. I'm getting a syntax error because it doesn't know what load array is. So let's go back here and let's create that method right here method method to load array and pass it back pass it back to main program Notice here I'm telling the main program, you're going to be getting back from the method a two-dimensional array. The value is going to be integer, and the method is going to drop the values right there. The reference will be pointing there. So this array will have to reference where these values are. So here's my method, public. Static int is a two dimensional array. It's not a void. I'm returning an integer two dimensional array. And now the name of the method, the name of the method is load array. And this one is not getting anything from the main program, so curly bracket, open, close. I'm getting a syntax error because this one expects to return a 2D array. Till I put the return there, I'm going to have a problem. So just be patient. That's why that X there. If you click on that, it's going to say the return, something about the return. Add a return statement. Yep. 
So let's initialize how big this array, int, it's an integer array of, I don't know, let's give it a name here, what name you want to use, abc equals, ah, matrix, abc sounds stupid, so is matrix, but that's okay equals new 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 what int an array of what size let's say five by four 20 values i don't want to read the values i just want to have a random numbers put in so Lucky for me, I saved my other program right here. Where's that lucky number to put, initialize the value with random numbers? Right here. Let me copy that. That's from last assignment, last video. Except I didn't use the word table here, I used the word matrix. Matrix matrix and matrix and the only thing left to do notice this one closes this one so I really don't need curly brackets here because only one line I can take them out Get rid of the space, all the extra stuff that we have there. This one goes with this, and this one goes with this. So before you actually finish this method, you need to return matrix. And the index for this matrix, the index for this array now, will go right there. So this array R will have the index for matrix so it should have all the numbers access to all the numbers let's see if that's true let's actually display the result display the numbers we can do a for statement again here we go this will do it copy and notice I'm getting a syntax error it doesn't know what matrix matrix is defined in this method that is a local variable so I have to use the letter R here because that's my matrix it knows what R is it knows the size of R now and notice once I put R Oh. I don't need this one here and this is R oh I don't want to give the value I'm sorry I want to show the result here we go so I want to print that uh, so print F Or sys all, let's do this. Sys all, so I don't have to write the whole thing. Print F. Print the mate. Oh, I gotta print the format first. And again, these numbers between 0 to 100, I'm gonna say print uh, percent. 2d put color space between them close that plus print the value which is in that location definitely I'm gonna need here because I'm doing more than one thing so when I'm done with this nope that's semicolon actually that's fine so this will go through this loop 
till it's done once it's done once it's done i want sys o go the next line otherwise all the numbers will be on one line so this will finish all the columns will stay on the same line till all the columns are printed once you finish all the columns we'll go to the next line and we repeat the process i becomes or row becomes one do all of them let's see if if we did this correctly it should actually call this method have this method load the values and send them back to the main program and we have a syntax error somewhere print percent d let me just see that hmm. let's see where the error is that should be r here print the value in array r location row location column let's see i don't see anything wrong with it oh there's the numbers Now, I could have passed something, a one-dimensional, a two-dimensional array from the main program to the method. In this case, I didn't have to. Maybe I'll do another one where I'll pass something and get something back. So that's a short, nice video, 12 minutes long.